What's going on guys? I hope everybody's having a good Friday night. Tonight's video is inspired by, as some shows usually are, 105.3 The Fan, a show that I heard I was listening to last night. Shout out to the guys on the Get Right, Reggie Atatua and Blake. I forget his last name, man. I don't get to listen to the Get Right as much as I'd like to, but I know it's Reggie and Blake. They do a great show when I get to listen. And last night I was listening to uh, Reggie and uh, Blake do a kind of not necessarily a mock draft, but like talking about a mock draft strategy for the Cowboys that I really liked. I thought that was really smart. Um, and it was kind of cool to hear them talk about it because I don't get to hear them talk too much draft strategy and uh, pretty smart guys, definitely, as most as everybody is at the, at the fan. But they were talking about how the Cowboys could essentially draft for me, but also get best player available. And what they meant by that was, Let's just say the first round, you know, a lot of people think that guard offensive line is a big issue. Okay, whatever. Some people agree with that. Some people don't. Let's just say they decide to go ahead and address the offensive line and they get Graham Barton. Well, he would be the best player at his, posi at his position, and that would be the guard. And he also has offer center versatility. So, you know, potentially you're getting a potential Zach Martin replacement, but also you're getting a starting center at your, with your first round pick. Hey, I'm pretty happy about that. Right. Then they said in the second round, they said linebacker again, a need, not, you know, with, with the addition of Eric Kendricks, right. Not necessarily a need, but definitely a need for depth and a future need. So they said, well, what if, what if, the Cowboys go ahead and take linebacker Edron Cooper out of AM. Again, arguably the best linebacker in the class by a lot of people. Wouldn't be bad about that. Having a young linebacker core. And then at pick three, go ahead and get your running back, being Braylon Allen or somebody like that. Again, running back being a need. Braylon Allen, by some people, at least in fantasy circles, from what I've heard, is uh, their number one running back. I mean, they you know they also talked about Trey Benson. They also talked about Jonathan Brooks, but they were just saying getting somebody like that, you know, addressing the running back need. And Braylon Allen, I'm not sure if they think that he's the best running back in this class, but they that was the name that they brought up, if I remember correctly. But here's what I've really found interesting. You know, the Cowboys don't have a fourth round pick. Well, they do have three seventh round picks, and because of the depth at this position, they think it would be wise for the Cowboys to double depth at linebacker. And I thought that was pretty smart because a couple of weeks ago, uh, when we were on EJ Savage's Boys in the Zone show, Mike talked about how Mike Zimmer likes to have a linebacker on special teams. And one name he brought up was Tyron Hooper, linebacker out of, uh, I believe it's Mizzou. Again, correct me if I'm wrong there, but I believe that's what it is. I don't know much about him, obviously. And they said, that again, they said that why not double dip at linebacker? And I like that idea because the point they brought up was that last year they had one injury and the linebacker core just kind of fell apart. Well, I know they have Eric Kendricks, right? And even if they were to draft a linebacker, just drafting another one late in the seventh round, a high upside guy, even if he's special teams, at least if one gets injured, you're not putting yourself in a position to, um, you know, try to sign one or, or hope somebody cuts one. You already have a guy on the team. And if you suffer one injury, well, it's not going to ruin your season. I mean, I know last, our season last year wasn't ruined, but our defense took a big hit. So if you can avoid putting yourself in that position, why not do it? I thought linebacker was a great spot to do that. Um, let me know what you guys think. Should should the Cowboys double dip at a, maybe running back, maybe at offensive line? Should they double dip a wide receiver? Uh, let me know in the comments. I hope you guys are having a great Friday night and have a good weekend.